Can you imagine what it would have been like to fight in some of the most epic battles in history? Join us as we relive these unforgettable moments. Hello, and welcome to our video on the most epic battles in history. From ancient times to modern warfare, humankind has been witness to countless battles that have shaped the course of history. In this video, we'll be taking a look at some of the most epic battles ever fought, and what made them so significant. The Battle of Thermopylae was fought between the Greek city-state alliance and the Persian Empire in August or September 480 BC. The Greek forces were led by King Leonidas I of Sparta, while the Persian army was led by King Xerxes I. The battle took place in a narrow pass at Thermopylae, which provided the Greeks with a strategic advantage. The Persians had a much larger army than the Greeks, with estimates ranging from 70,000 to over 1 million soldiers. The Greeks, on the other hand, only had around 7,000 soldiers. However, the narrow pass at Thermopylae allowed the Greek soldiers to hold off the Persian army for three days. On the first day of the battle, the Persian army attempted to push through the pass, but were met with heavy resistance from the Greek phalanx formation. The Greeks were able to hold their ground and inflict heavy casualties on the Persians. The second day of the battle saw a similar outcome, with the Greeks holding off the Persian army and inflicting more casualties. However, on the third day, a local resident named Ephialtes showed the Persians a hidden path through the mountains that led to the rear of the Greek army. This allowed the Persians to surround the Greeks and defeat them. Despite their defeat, the Battle of Thermopylae has been remembered as a symbol of heroic resistance against overwhelming odds. The Spartan warriors in particular have become legendary figures in history and popular culture, with their bravery and discipline inspiring countless stories and legends. The Battle of Hastings took place on October 14, 1066, in the town of Hastings, in southern England. It was fought between the Norman-French army of William, Duke of Normandy, and the English army led by King Harold Godwinson. The battle was a decisive victory for the Normans and marked the end of Anglo-Saxon rule in England. The battle began when the Norman army landed on the English coast and started moving towards London. King Harold and his army marched south to intercept them, and the two sides met at Hastings. The English army was positioned on a hill, while the Normans attacked from below. The battle lasted for several hours and was fought with swords, axes, and spears. The Norman army had cavalry, which gave them an advantage, while the English army fought on foot. King Harold was killed during the battle, and his death was a turning point in the fight. The English army started to break apart, and the Normans were able to gain control. William, Duke of Normandy, became King of England and was known as William the Conqueror. He went on to change the face of England, building castles and establishing Norman rule. The Battle of Hastings is considered one of the most important battles in English history, and its impact can still be felt today. The Battle of Hastings took place on October 14, 1066, in Sussex, England, and was a pivotal event in English history. The conflict arose from a dispute over who had the rightful claim to the English throne, following the death of King Edward the Confessor. The two main contenders were Harold Godwinson, who was the Earl of Wessex and had been appointed king by the English nobility, and William, Duke of Normandy, who was a distant relative of Edward and claimed that he had promised him the throne before his death. William amassed an army of Norman knights and infantry and crossed the English Channel to invade England. Harold, on the other hand, had to face another threat when the Norwegian King Harold Hardrada invaded England with his army, and the two Haralds fought the Battle of Stamford Bridge, which resulted in a decisive victory for Harold Godwinson. However, this victory weakened Harold's army, and William took advantage of the situation to land on the English coast at Pevensey Bay. Harold quickly marched south with his army to meet William at Hastings, where the two armies clashed in a battle that lasted all day. The battle was intense and featured multiple phases, with both sides taking the upper hand at different times. The Normans employed new tactics, such as archery and the use of cavalry charges, which proved effective against the English shield wall formation. The battle was ultimately won by the Normans, and Harold Godwinson was killed, allegedly by an arrow through the eye. The Norman victory at the Battle of Hastings marked the end of Anglo-Saxon rule in England and the beginning of Norman rule. It also had profound cultural, social, and linguistic effects on England, as William and his knights introduced French culture and language to England, which heavily influenced the development of the English language. The Battle of Agincourt was fought between the armies of England and France on October 25, 1415, during the Hundred Years' War. It was a decisive victory for the English, who were led by King Henry V. The background of the war was that the English had been claiming the French crown since 1337, due to a dispute over the succession to the French throne. 
This led to a series of conflicts, known as the Hundred Years' War, which lasted from 1337 to 1453. The Battle of Agincourt was a part of the larger campaign in France, which was led by Henry V. The English army had marched through northern France, capturing several towns along the way. The French, led by the Constable of France, Charles Dalbret, had decided to confront the English at Agincourt. On the day of the battle, the English army was vastly outnumbered by the French, with estimates ranging from 12,000 to 36,000 French soldiers against 6,000 English soldiers. However, the English had the advantage of the terrain, which was muddy and difficult for the heavily armoured French knights to manoeuvre in. The battle began with a French charge against the English lines, but they were quickly bogged down in the mud. The English archers, positioned behind sharpened stakes, rained down arrows on the French, causing chaos and confusion. The French knights, weighed down by their armour, were unable to advance, and many were killed or captured by the English. The battle ended with a decisive victory for the English, who had suffered relatively few casualties compared to the French. The victory was a major boost for the English morale and allowed Henry V to continue his campaign in France. The Battle of Agincourt is remembered for its strategic use of the terrain and the English longbow, which proved to be a deadly weapon against the heavily armoured French knights. It is also remembered as a major English victory during the Hundred Years' War. The Battle of Waterloo took place on June 18, 1815, in Waterloo, Belgium, and is widely regarded as one of the most significant battles in European history. It was the final battle of the Napoleonic Wars, a series of conflicts fought between France and various European powers that lasted from 1803 to 1815. The background of the Battle of Waterloo dates back to Napoleon Bonaparte's escape from exile on the island of Elba in February 1815, which marked the beginning of the Hundred Days. Napoleon quickly regained power in France and began rebuilding his army in an effort to reclaim his empire. However, several European powers, including the United Kingdom, Prussia, Russia, and Austria, formed a coalition against him. The main events of the Battle of Waterloo began on June 16, 1815, when Napoleon's army crossed the border into Belgium. The British and their allies, led by the Duke of Wellington, were initially caught off guard by the French advance, but they managed to regroup and set up defensive positions in the town of Waterloo. On June 18, Napoleon launched a massive assault on the British positions, hoping to break through and defeat them before the Prussian army arrived to reinforce them. The battle raged on for hours, with both sides suffering heavy losses. At one point, the French managed to break through the British line, but they were repelled by the arrival of Prussian troops. In the end, the combined British and Prussian forces were able to defeat Napoleon's army, effectively ending his reign in the Napoleonic Wars. The Battle of Waterloo was a significant event in European history, as it marked the end of an era of French dominance and the beginning of a period of relative peace on the continent. It also solidified the reputation of the Duke of Wellington as a military genius and cemented his place in British history. The Battle of Stalingrad was a major battle of World War II, fought between Nazi Germany and the Soviet Union in the city of Stalingrad, now known as Volgograd, from August 1942 to February 1943. The battle is considered one of the turning points of the war and the largest and bloodiest battle in human history, with an estimated 2 million casualties. The background of the battle began with Hitler's desire to capture the oil-rich Caucasus region and gain control of the Volga River. The Germans launched a massive attack on Stalingrad in August 1942, with the intention of capturing the city and pushing on to the Caucasus. However, the Soviets fiercely defended the city, and the battle quickly turned into a brutal street-to-street -street and house-to-house -house fight for every inch of ground. The Battle of Stalingrad was marked by numerous significant events, including the brutal hand-to-hand -hand combat between the two armies. The Germans quickly gained control of 90% of the city, but the Soviets refused to surrender, and in November 1942, launched a massive counter-offensive, surrounding the German army and trapping them in the city. The Germans were cut off from their supply lines, and they suffered from starvation, disease, and the harsh Russian winter. The battle raged on for months, with both sides suffering heavy losses. In February 1943, the German army finally surrendered, and the Soviet Union emerged victorious. The battle was a major turning point in the war, as it halted the German advance into the Soviet Union and paved the way for the Soviet counteroffensive that eventually pushed the Germans back to Berlin. Overall, the Battle of Stalingrad was a brutal and bloody struggle that claimed the lives of millions of soldiers and civilians. Its significance in the outcome of World War II cannot be overstated, and it remains one of the most important battles in modern history. These are just a few examples of the most epic battles in history, 
each with their own unique significance and impact on the world. From ancient Greece to World War II, these battles have left their mark on history and serve as a reminder of the courage, sacrifice, and determination of those who fought in them. Thank you for watching this video on the most epic battles this world has seen. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to hit the like button and leave a comment below with your thoughts and feedback. Also, make sure to subscribe to our channel to stay updated on future videos like this one. And if you know someone who might find this video interesting, don't hesitate to share it with them. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.